Okay, we're back. Hopefully for real this time. Yeah, sorry. That's not your fault. I, I blame OBS and your computer. Yeah. Machines. They can't be trusted. Yes. Maybe. <laughs> Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> okay, Everyone's worried about the the automaton takeover, but you know there's going to be a Windows patch mid, midway through the war, and they're just going to all crash down and stop working. <laughs> um, network connection is poor. It looks like that's the issue, but I don't know why. The food's there. I don't know. Anyways, it's going for now. I just can't promise if it's going to... Let's do this. So the Crusaders were telling you their last purge was about 25 years ago, and basically, right now there is no crusade. There's just like a, it's a stalemate on the border. With the demons can't go out through past the ward stones, but there's not enough forces to uh, take over the world wound. Okay, what so, do they do when they do cleansing? They cleanse the world of demons. Is that what they do? No, they're talking about cleansing scrap walls specifically. Yeah, and what does that involve? Going in and burning everyone. Uh-huh. Yeah. Pretty much what it sounds like. Such yeah. great guys. Well, I mean, they're cannibals. Uh, oh, are, is all the city cannibalists? No, but lot, there's a lot of gangs, and they're all on the same level of worst. Interesting. Okay, so it's a, a <laughs> cesspool of not greatness, apparently. Exactly, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And they keep doing raids on like the supply lines of the Crusaders as well as like the the, the armies as they move along and this kind of shit. Well, so... maybe Abercrombie had the right of it by bombing the city, but I'm sure there's innocent people in the city. <laughs> I'm sure. Possibly. I'm sure. Anyway. Yeah, so it's just that when you're moving like an army of 4,000 Crusaders along the river and there's you know, some assholes from a rando town that come and try to steal your your wares and set your tents on fire just because the commanders tend to take drastic approaches. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, uh... then. Um, so, will you stay here or regroup somewhere? What will you do? Uh, uh, so, well, if you if you need us to hold in uh, the ground and give you a hospitality, my orders are to stay here, and I've asked for some reinforcements. Uh, so any help would be appreciated, but this right. these kinds of things are not common per se. I believe they were these particular this particular group of smilers was trying to curry flavor favor with the lords of rust. I mean, yeah, they were praising Helion earlier. Yes, as most uh, followers of the Lords of Rust do. Helion is the leader of the Lords of Rust and has established himself as some sort of divinity that the fools follow. So, uh, well, uh, we kind of got one of them captive. If you want to get information that'll help your crusade. Wow, what could I possibly learn? What's happening in Scrapwall? How many people worship Helion? What's going on? Who's in charge? How does that help my, the crusades? Uh, hey, bad guy in charge number one, surrender, or we crusade harder. I don't oh, know, no. they're very picky, that's the problem. <laughs> the, the, yeah. We're talking about, the, so just so you understand, when I say the crusades, I mean the sixth crusade that is ongoing right now against the world wound, which is a wound in uh, to the northwest of here about, 500 miles is a direct portal to the abyss and from which numerous hordes of demons constantly pour out and that it, and it's a crusade that has been ongoing for nearly two centuries now i see that's terrible that's the first yes. time i hear about it well i'm sorry to have to tell you this way but yes the world is hanging on by a thread and everyone seems to ignore us I, I don't know. I'm literally just the thing that was made alive not long ago, so I'm learning a lot. Well, if you want to help us, we always appreciate volunteers. Well, I'm well, technically am doing crusading right now, just uh, on a smaller scale, with smaller bad guys. Well then, if you want to enter a star scrap wall, you, I, I will not try to, pre to pre prevent you, but I would warn you to exercise cautions. It's a very, very dangerous place filled with violent people. Indeed, we've already killed their high priest. What? 
<laughs> oh, oh right. Oh, uh, maybe you should tell your superiors that they've already started going outside of scrap wall and enacting some kind of world destroying plan. Uh, we foiled one of them, but I'm pretty sure there's more of them going around. That is concerning, and I shall certainly write to the clergy yep. about it. Yep, you can tell your uh, clergy they've been funneling energy from other big cities. Uh, creating uh, these, uh, uh, what was it, Regulus? Uh, nuclear meltdowns? I don't know what that is, but it looks very dangerous. <laughs> yeah, and causing headaches and such. Yeah. But uh, speaking of help, uh, were you aware of the entity inhabiting the chapel? Yes, Aldonads, uh, we know he's there, it's just we don't have uh, the manpower to properly exercise him. So oh. we've kind of let him be in the chapel for now. He's not very harmful, unless you bother him. Yeah, right. The, uh, insider's information in regard to his past that we can use to uh, let him go in his merry way to Ferasmo. I mean, if, the, if there was a simple option, we would have done it, but we can't find any i don't know maybe like there's some kind of like uh rules against crusaders like uh are you, all these guys like guys are they, are they yes. all dudes yeah they're all dudes. rules against crusaders that can't just like put on a wig and pretend to be some kind of girl like i don't know <laughs> oh no you wanna you want to pretend to be his long deceased lover and what do what forgive him yes yes <laughs> well, that, hmm. I don't know if that worked. We'd never tried that. I mean, I don't know. I guess lying does not come easily to me. I mean, it's not really a lie. I'm sure his lover forgives him. Oh, no, I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying that I hadn't thought of it. Yeah, we're all doing this for uh, for the, the goodness of Aldronard, right? Yeah, I mean, if we can send his soul to the afterlife, it would be both in his, Pharasma's, and Saren Race's uh, interest. Okay. All well, right, man. let's do this. We, we got a plan going. <laughs> sort who's, of. Who's, cat, who's catfishing? Yeah, who's got the most feminine figure? It's Regulus, right? I mean, I wouldn't call Probably him Merrick feminine, Probably Merrick 473X, but... X and depending on what you consider feminine, uh, Varvra. I think we're going to have to go off deception here. Yeah. So Regulus <laughs> does... <laughs> Yeah, can, Regulus has charisma, religion, and If you and want diplomacy. to try, I mean, Regulus, I think, is an expert in deception. Yeah, and trying so, diplomacy and religion. You so. can Cyrano de Bergerac this shit if you want to. Oh, oh that'd be, that'd be, that'd be oh, perfect. Yeah. Let's do this <laughs> with Cyrano de Bergerac. Uh, uh, I mean, I, I'm not sure I'll take exactly the Cyrano de Bergerac approach, but <laughs> I'll talk to the guy. So you can you can just like whisper exactly what to say and how to act to the person who is disguised in front of the ghost. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll allow that as following the expert for the deception check. Nice. Awesome. Uh, does anyone know what the hair color? Uh... Uh, it's fine. It's, it's fine. It's dark. <laughs> it's dark. She'll have a veal on. If he asks, like, what? If he asks, what happened to your hair color? Like, well, I died. Start this off by the disguise. <laughs> who are you disguising, and what does it look like? Yeah, who has the highest charisma besides Regulus? Uh, uh, that's probably me. <laughs> I mean, who's also maybe you know, <laughs> like somewhat feminine. female. I yeah. think it's Harvra. Well, With my then. what plus one? A zero, actually. Oh yeah, the minus zero. one that the Android sisters have. Uh, yeah, I don't have any. Oh, All right, great. I don't even know. Hey, okay, we're running. So a... we're disguising me. Yes. Do I have to say anything? Because that's where this is gonna fall apart. <laughs> you do, but you would be following the expert. The expert being Regulus. Yeah. <laughs> so he's just like mouthing shit at me. He's gonna. And... Yes. Yeah. I, I, so. I've... Even better, I can use the message cantrip to just at least, you know, put it directly into your mind. Okie dokie. Alrighty then. I'm gonna Cyrano you into, like, doing this. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna, like, throw Hypatia to Abercrombie and Finchie. 
Because I like his deceased lover probably didn't have a ferret. That's kind of a, a pipe fox. Probably didn't have one of those either. <laughs> Uh, all right. So, what uh, what kind of disguise are you putting together? Because usually you have a turban constantly with Varva, right? I have a what? Mm. A headscarf. Oh yeah, like I've got like a little hood. Mm -hmm. uh, so, I what do you do? Do you fashion a wig? Do you just let your your hair out? We uh, could always ask the crusaders. Do you show people what's... like the scar around your head, or yeah, yeah. Is... I have... <laughs> V has a buzz cut, so hair out, not an option. Um, we can, oh, I can, I can make uh, pretend hair. I can sure could fashion that with crafting. Oh, because there's well, dead horses. I mean, there's a bunch. Yeah, we get like the horse manes. Or, the, like, the horse, horse, horse hair. hairs. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm gonna go grab that, and I'm gonna use crafting. This is great. In I'm gonna assist with that. I'm gonna and, ask uh, just as a side note, V uh, has uh, seems to have a large uh, circular scar around her forehead, uh, their forehead, sorry, and uh, the all around their head. It's fine. It's fine. It's Nothing fine. happened there. Uh, this is my <laughs> check to aid in the crafting. Interesting. Yeah, I'm gonna go grab all of the mains I can, and I'm gonna. Okay, so it's a uh... craft. I suppose I could either try religion or speak to the Crusaders to what would be traditional female wear for... Do, yeah, do I, I, I have any... believe I have a standard ta tabard for a female fa female uh, acolyte. Let me, let there me we go. Let me the quartermaster's uh, storage. There Just we go. Just go around and rummages. Yeah. <laughs> it comes back to it like a white tabard with a rising sun on it. Yes, this is the temple for uh, uh, tragically an acolyte of the of, uh, that was a member of the Rising uh, Swords uh, fell here, and we kept her clothing instead in case uh, someone else would need them. Perfect. Well, this would work. Horse mane and old tabard. All right. Uh, do I have? Does that? I don't give know me about you, but I've always pictured uh, the his uh, Adonai's lover as having raven black hair, and then the one next to him say, "Oh, really? I always pictured her as a redhead." <laughs> okay, um, horse hair though. That's what we're going <laughs> um, so good enough crafting this, check. This, this I mean, it's pretty sooty. So, like, let's hope it is in fact black hair that she had. Hell yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know if her bonus gives me anything, but you know, I just rolled it. Does yeah. anyone have prestidigitation? Prestidigitation. There we go. That. Nope. Could always no. help. All right, good, perfect. I have electric arc. <laughs> <laughs> so we just do have I. shit zapping in the background, like ghosts are <laughs> staticky, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> I have to so, merge. What? So okay, so uh, make me your deception check, Regulus. I'll give you a plus two circumstance bonus for the. Oh wow! Outstanding. Uh, plus uh, two. That, that, two circumstance bonus for the outstanding uh, costume that you're putting together, and this is I to would... how much uh, Varvara is going to look like his lover. Nice. Ooh. Hero point. <laughs> I mean, I might as well because I mean, I mean, yeah. I've got a bunch, and we're about to potentially complete the quest. As crazy as that is, oh, so silly I'm... with it. <laughs> yeah. Might as well splurge here. Yeah. Uh, all right. I can do it. I guess I'll just roll again because I have the habit of moving it manually. Uh, plus two. Boom. All right, much better. Okay, perfect. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's ridiculous. <laughs> okay, so. Barbara, you go in and you mouth off what Regulus tells you to say. <laughs> I would like to say, as soon as the door opens and it looks like the ghost is about to turn and see me, um, I cast Blur on myself <laughs> <laughs> to appear extra ghostly. Oh, oh that's nice. great. That's great. Amazing. It's just mm -hmm. amazing. You enter in your blurry shape and the ghost appears and says, 
Zora, <laughs> Zora, is that you? <laughs> e- Your lovely form. I had not wished to witnessed it in so long. Yep. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, that's totally me. <laughs> yeah, my name is Zora. Um, Got it in one. <laughs> <laughs> my my love it has been so long <laughs> as like up front just so so woodenly V is like my love it has been so long <laughs> like Polly Shore is Pinocchio is the level of acting that is going into this <laughs> yeah and, uh, specific right there Listen, that that ghost has been bricked up for hundreds of years. All right, so <laughs> yeah, bricked up. Am I right? Yeah, my dear Aldrinard, you look just like the same as the last day I've saw I've seen you. <laughs> he read this, read this, uh, says the line, <laughs> and the ghost says, "But no, I have failed you, caused you nothing but pain. All love was a curse I inflicted on you." No, I cannot be in your presence. I do not deserve it. No, no, you, you've done everything you could for the glory of Saren Ray. I'm yes, sorry, Saren Ray. Oh, OBS crashed again. <laughs> oh, no. I know. <laughs> right in the middle of the Our performance crashed OBS. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Reconnected again successfully, so we might be okay. Discord didn't. Uh, jam out. Wait, this Fizzball is trying something, or I mean, Abercrombie. He's also annoyed. Looks like. Oh, it's uh, checking error. Yeah, okay, OBS died from cringe. <laughs> Mood. I just want some emotion, okay? More, more from emotion. me? More from. From Regulus? <laughs> and Varvra. <laughs> like, uh, one of those, maybe. Uh, it's, uh, we're, we're connected at the moment. Just give me a second. It's... I'll just look at water real fast and we can resume. Sure. There's, uh, it's, for some reason, when it loses permission... OBS? Yeah, there's like some kind of Microsoft data event that uh, none of the configured DNS servers responded. Well, I didn't. I restarted the computer, but I didn't check for updates, so maybe it's just a freaking update. It doesn't have indication of it. But I'm not sure it's OBS. I think it's our, our connection that's bad. I just don't know why the, uh, the connection, is bad. connection is bad. By the way, V, we can hear you typing. I'm just gonna mute real fast. It wasn't really much of a problem at the moment. Um, but that's fine. Uh, we might. Yeah, it looks like it's working. Yeah, it is at the moment. It says it's unstable, though. Oh. So it might drop again until it gets good again, and then we. It's. I have a feeling this is gonna keep happening until we figure out why. So. Potentially. Although it could be just one of those days, and the ISP is unstable. Or I don't know. Something, something. That or Twitch or... But I don't think it's Or Twitch. Twitch. But sometimes it is Twitch. Yeah. So, I don't know. Troubleshooting fun! Yay! <laughs> Yay! So fun! I love it. Um... Yeah. 
I'm just waiting. I'm back. Are we back? Yeah, well, we've been kind of sort of back for a little while, so we'll try and keep going. We don't know if the issue has been resolved. It probably hasn't been. Uh, well, so if at least the recording can keep going and you can stay on mm -hmm. Discord, that's already something. I I'm the recording dropping, I has guess. been going, yes, but Discord has dropped out, so we have been losing some mm. audio. That's why I made you guys repeat a little bit once in a while when right. I knew that the audio was lost. So uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, where were we? Yes, curse <laughs> of upon. So, what was your re response? He did. He can you can you take it back from take it from the top? Oh dear. Uh, <laughs> yeah, something something. Uh, you did it for Saren Ray, the greatness of our goddess. Uh, yeah. Okay. Totally justified. Me... Do you tell him that you forgive him? Yes. Of course. Okay. Uh, Varvara, roll a deception check. Oh, I did it. Yeah. Never mind. So, yeah, because it's Varvara that's rolling. I will, however, give you a plus four circumstance bonus for uh, the blur, the disguise, and just the sheer amazingness of everything. <laughs> And that's really going to be, uh, I'll, actually, I'll make it a plus four status bonus, which is going to be on top of the plus two circumstance bonus for, for all of the experts. And of course, you add your level. I add my uh, rank as well, the expert. I'm just going to package that into the circumstance bonus because I don't see a specific follow the expert thing on us right now. Mm -hmm. There isn't. They're working on it. Well, I'm going to hero point that. <laughs> <laughs> This is actually 21. That's good. Which succeeds because Yay. he wants to believe. Oh, my Yay. love. I've waited so long for to hear you say these words. I hardly believe it, but now. And he turns away, walks towards a light that appears in the distance. Nice. Right so behind you, babe. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a, for you, it's a corny, slightly amusing scene, but you also feel uh, elation. Uh, in your hearts as you as the the ghost goes away uh, oh, after really? you sweetheart ah shit it disconnected again after you so and you feel at peace as if there is some there was a third guys. person in this room doing these things with you can you hear and me and she is now happy no no uh, oh wow can you hear me varvara really awkward actually you everyone in the Nobody group <laughs> Gain well, actually, I'm gonna break down the XP. So you gain 130 XP for defeating all the Smilers. You get 90 XP for saving the Crusaders, so 220 total. Then you get 100. Oh. Hello. Where's your mic? I don't even know where your mic is. Uh. Oh gosh. We're totally, totally disconnected again. By the way. Yeah, well, I think we missed the tail end of that save, but whatever. Um, I'm so sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. Um, so, I don't know. I don't remember anymore where it cut off, so I'm not sure. We can do a recap next time we start, so that'll be fine, I guess. Uh, uh, so we'll get XP and then we'll be done for the. I'm sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. Yeah, we'll try and troubleshoot it and see though, but uh, okay, sorry, keep going. Do the XP. Oh, okay. So we're at 530? Oh, 530, sorry. 530. 530? Okay. I, I, I like Alex's math more than yours. <laughs> Do you? <laughs> I was a cashier for 10 <laughs> years. <laughs> okay. Uh, and on top of that, for putting Aldrinar to rest, it's been completed. The Crusaders have been rescued. 
And putting Eldrin Art to rest will give every one of you the minor boon for Saren Ray. Oh, hell yeah. Nice. What is that? Are they in? Because they were adding the deities in as. Um, they are in. Right? Hell yes. So how much XP are we at right now? 530, it sounded like. Yeah. Okay. Where's the DD stuff? Uh, I'm trying to get it out. I had put it in the loot, but it apparently doesn't want to. Oh. And we're back live. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Yay! Um, yeah. So we defeated the ghost. Yay! And we got XP. Yay! 530 XP. And we got a boon. What was the boon? It's the Siren uh, Ray's boon. I'm moving it to it's, your inventory now. It's her minor boon, right? Yeah, minor boon. Okay, so basically you have really warm hands and once when you heal another creature, instead of healing it for the normal amount, you heal the creature to full hit points no matter how much damage was taken. Oh, that's okay. And I'm once, not... so it's a one and done. And it's do we get to decent. pick when that is, or it's whenever? It, yes, you do, and it's when, ideally at a dramatic moment, and it's uh, <laughs> when uh, whenever you're using an ability with a healing keyword. Okay, I turn around and I immediately know. That'd be very funny. Um, I turn around to Regulus, and I'm like, "Am I allowed to say that was stupid as hell if it was my idea?" <laughs> yes. Like, am I allowed? To say that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we should have uh, put his soul into a mechanical body. That would have been so much better. But, well, we something. do what we can. <laughs> uh, mm. What, you guys really wanted to keep him around? No, I mean, it's just a regular thing. Uh-huh. All right. I don't know, I'm asking because I'm like, really? Is that what we should be doing? Like, good? <laughs> well. No. Then we can, you know, eventually coalesce into a single mechanical holy form. Oh, is that another option? And okay. I'll be one. Yes, of course. I'm really glad lying worked because the other option was to attempt bind undead and man oh man was that not going to go well. <laughs> no. I think it has the incapacitation trait on top of everything. It doesn't have the incapacitation trait but if you're using it on an undead that isn't mindless it has to be a creature that is the spell's level or lower. And it's level 3. So. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Would not have well mm -hmm. okay uh, so uh basically since we're going to close pretty much around here because of technical difficulties uh i will however not your nearest crap wall and you you can kind of rest a bit before end attempting anything mm -hmm. what's a roll me some recall knowledge checks about scrap wall it would be society uh, I can society. I'm sociable. I, I will do my cantrip. Let me put in the chat if anyone wants to drag and drop it. Um, I'll do discern secrets on anyone who wants to roll. Oh, no, I got, I'm gonna. Uh, never mind. <laughs> I, I I was like I don't know what kind of bonus this is. What, what did mm -hmm. say? you say? You are very far, far away. away from your yeah. Answer. You are getting a hero point from uh, the quest with Aldernard. Oh. Oh, yeah. Nice. gains back a hero point. Then, Varvra, I use one of your hero points, like a meanie. Oh, no. <laughs> Wait, so I get one and then lose one? Yeah, pretty much. Okay, so I had to. Why do I have zero now? Oh, wait, no, I hear a point in that rolled. Yep. All right. Okay. So, 
Abercrombie. Anyone else want to roll aside from, from Varva and Abercrombie? Nope, because it's not giving him anything. Yeah. Sounds good. No, you're more likely to have a uh, false information if you roll poorly than yep. uh, help the effort. So. Okay. So Abercrombie, I will show you the whole thing. No. Oh. They are not part of the technically. Okay. Hmm. What do we, as like the characters, know about the Technic League? Just that they're hmm. kind of assholes, mostly. <laughs> I guess the Technic to... League are a league yeah. of uh, scientists, if you will, dedicated to the merging of magic and technology. So that's their stated purpose. Their actions, however, is to do pretty much fucking anything to do that. They requisition any technology that falls into their hands. They're technically subservient to the sovereign of uh, Numeria, which is the tribe, the strongest tribe leader of uh, all the tribes of Numeria. But it's a small. It's not a, really a secret that. They are the masterminds behind the throne, so they essentially control most legislative bodies in the, the Numeria, as well as most of the technology. And they're a very, very powerful organization that condones pretty much anything to fill its coffers to continue its research, including save slavery. Mm. Nice. Yikes. Oh my. What a wonderful world we live in. Hey, gotta go. <laughs> I don't know, man. You gotta go. I think we're a little outnumbered by all these societies and people. It's okay. I, I got Finchy. Uh -huh. It's fine. I'll start a cult. Uh -huh. So the largest city in the land where the, <laughs> the seat of power is is Starfall, which is uh, right next to the mount where the largest part of the ship uh, fell, crashed 9,000 years ago. Hmm. I'm going to show you the map so you can uh, see it. So right here you have Starfall, mm -hmm. right next to Silver Mount. Okay. And inside of Starfall, they have a giant, like a various strongholds. All of their captains, because the technically it's commanded by their tech captains, and they vote a supreme captain within the captains group. Uh, and basically, the city asks that you state any technological items, including androids, when you re enter the city. Uh, and they often requisition those items and then give you a small compens and monetary compensation for that. Wait, if I requisition myself, how much do I get? <laughs> Only one way to know. <laughs> I'm submitting myself because I am me. All right, here's your money and here's your chains. <laughs> you can ask 473X, she knows how much she's worth. Oh, oh my. Damn. Uh, so, am I going to have this in the journal for uh, uh, to scrap wall details? Yep. Cool. I want to make you an observer on it. Neat. And knowing this gives you access to this quest that I I will make everyone observers on. You gain the overarching like for this entire book. This will be the major quest you will uh, keep track of. And it is called Be Scrapworthy. Because everything in Scrapwall revolves around how scrapworthy you are. Uh huh. This nice. quest isn't very nice to me. It's calling me worthless scum. I mean, I am <laughs> worthless scum, but I mean, you don't have okay, to point it out. Yeah. So um. we have to go up the. the. Ishel, the. the. Go ladder, ladder yeah. to go up in rank to be seen as was, someone. Uh, murder hobo's wet dream. Maybe, yeah. Uh, so it's that that classic anime of doing a tournament to win it and then tournament arc. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we just walk in and challenge. Was trying to speak, but no one. Uh, Can you guys mentioned. hear me? Uh, now, yeah. yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, good. Good. Okay. Um. Maybe we should take the head of the boss guy we killed and bring it. It might give us more points. True. Oh. Let's uh, put it on top oh. of our firefly. That's a good idea. No. Hub no. ornament. Let's do it. Yeah, good ornament. I, I meant to take the head. A good idea. Not on the firefly, but yes. Um, we I mean, have... we got to display it. So next time we'll have... Uh...
time to actually question our smiler because I don't think we've literally questioned him yet. And then we can be off. To... Watch, we can, uh, you can ask him any questions you want right now, and we'll close up with that. Okay. Um... Who's your boss, boss? Yeah. That's a good question. I, you want to know who my boss's boss is? Mm-hmm. Um, well, so. Ain't nobody the, guy, the boss of me, boss, so, you know. So, so I'm sure going to I'm gonna take one of those nice barbecue horse meat, and I'm going to use diplomacy and say, hey, if you answer it, you might get a good bite out of this. He looks at you. Make me a diplomacy check. Interesting. <laughs> so my boss's boss is, is uh, well, I guess technically it'd be Marrow. Uh, she's the smiler boss. But uh, she's also one of the Lords of Rust. So, you know, I, I answered with some big shots. You should let me go. Marrow, yes, the uh, smile boss, a lord, a lord of rust. Yes, that Marrow. Yeah, we know her well. We know her well. In fact, we're do, about huh? to go in. Yeah, we are about to go. We had an appointment with her. Uh, what she look like? Uh, she's real mean looking. Oh man. What's her race? <laughs> <laughs> Big. <laughs> we don't see ancestry. <laughs> um, We're very culturally aware, like that. Tell me the color of her skin. Probably uh, dirty. We can't say that on air. <laughs> no. <laughs> probes. In a probes. Dirty. Ugh. I mean, I mean, his well, skin is dirty, green. right? Mm -hmm. So he has green because of wearing copper stuff, but like yeah, yeah, yeah. filled with scratches. We couldn't even tell what color skin he was having. So inappropriate. <laughs> her, her racial profile is uh, imposing and dirty. <laughs> there. <laughs> so, do you have any more questions for him? I mean, now we have his boss's boss. Uh, we had the name of his previous boss that we killed, uh, Hatchet Hand. Mm -hmm. um... Oh, was the boss of second in command? Yeah, I yeah. would ask him if there's anything specific going on in Scrapwall. Kind of skip things going on in Scrapwall. You see, the Lords of Rest have been making a push for a little while now, so uh, and they've pretty much been successful. Also, recently I hear. But uh, you didn't hear it from me that uh, the thralls of Helion have been wiped out because apparently they failed to deliver the batteries that Helion needed. Oh, how unfortunate. Hmm. I bet we didn't have anything to do with that. Um... <laughs> yeah. yeah, we don't know who did that. Yeah. So are you saying Let's that just... batteries are Not a clue. A high, in high demand? <laughs> they what were like that? harvesting literally like hundreds of batteries from a, some sort of receiver array and then the shipment stopped and then they got wiped out and mm. uh huh so they're still in demand for batteries right I mean do you have nearly tens of thousands of them not that many but <laughs> we kind of do technically what we still have the transceiver we can still turn it back on <laughs> oh dear! So, we yeah. we still have a we still have a chip to play in the in the game, right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if we want to play that one, but well, we're not gonna play it. But we can pretend that we can play it because we think right, we could right. play it. Yeah, but giving away that information right. is not a good idea. But, uh... Yeah. No, but just telling him that we we do know. Mm -hmm. We do have the ability to, and then they would detect if we're lying. It'd be oh, they're not lying, and that's it. Uh, maybe, yeah. But then they would want to torture us to get the information. Maybe. It's fine. It's fine. I can self-explode. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> you, you flashbacks can't do this. <laughs> no, I don't think I can. Nope. Uh, but uh, yeah, okay. So I'm guessing. 
people in Scrapwall are currently vying for Hellion's favor. Probably, yep. Yeah. And his gang, yeah. Hellion's gang, is the Lords of Rust. All right. Well. After that, I think, uh, Abercrombie, you had uh, the information for uh, which gangs are strong after uh, Hell yeah, after the Lords of Rust? Yeah. The, after the Lord the Well, the Thralls of Hell has been wiped out. Uh, Steelhawk, Red, Red Tooth's Raiders, the Smilers, and the Lords of Rust. Are the main All right, then. But technically, the Smiler leader of Marrow is a Lord of Rust, so... Yep. Looks like the Lord of Rust are probably part of these three gangs. Well, it's more like uh, you don't got nothing, uh, you da- you damn dull looking sw- scoundrel. What I'm saying <laughs> is, you know, the boss is a Lord of Rust because we pay allegiance to the Lord of Rust, and so as of an honorific title, she's part of their gang as long as we're in an alliance together. Technically, they are also smilers, or at least one of them is technically a smiler. It's just it don't work that way. They don't give a fuck about that because they're the top dog in town. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, good to know. Thank you. Now, yeah. Uh, thanks. Here's your here's your horse meat. Ah, right, thank you, thank you. Now we'll let the crusaders pick what. Uh, well, you know, you know, take care of you. Yeah, we'll be gone for a while, <laughs> so I don't know what's gonna happen, but. Good, the good graces yeah. of Saren Ray will be with you. <laughs> oh, don't worry. We'll, we're going to make sure that we give him a proper judgment. You know, you know one of those scenes from a uh, uh, what's it called? The 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 movie with the ah oh, man, words words are escaping me. The, those those quick cut scenes, like where it's just like a series of sounds and images, and it's just like a scaffold being built, rope being hung, <laughs> oh, around the neck, Hanging body. Yeah. A montage. Yeah. A kinda. quick montage. I mean, yeah, I can see, you know, people piling wood, making a. a... Things like eating his brethren while being alive would have created some form of resentment towards this person. Yeah, I mean, expect them to be purged with fire uh, or something. No, fire is reserved for the pure. Oh, okay. Alrighty then. Eat for the worms. Okay, so I guess we're good for for this session. Yep. So I've uh, put you a small uh, glimpse of what scrap wall looks like, mm-hmm. and uh, hopefully, in between now and next session, we you will have uh, time to get together some nefarious plans to gain so, control and and worth amongst the city of uh, scrap wall. Yeah. Awesome! Totally virtuous plans. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Totally. Definitely. First part to, to note is that this city is surrounded by a wall of refuse. You can definitely try to climb it, uh, but it's pr- a pretty high wall of, you know, scrap. And we'll contract tetanus. The main gate to enter the city is here. Yes, you could definitely contract tetanus if you I try mean, to climb this. You and I won't, but... I mean, I will, because I'm 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 a construct that's... That, that's blessed with being able to have all of the weaknesses of flesh bags, so <laughs> exactly. yeah, I mean, it was for balance purposes <laughs> uh... but I can send AB, he's fine yes <laughs> so yeah, so the main wall, the main gate would be here, mm-hmm. and I'll give you guys as much time as you want, there's now Sarenith the 13th, because uh, I assume you guys are going to sleep, yeah. I'll take you back to the grave so you can click the, gra- the sleep button I already did. Cool. All right. So, awesome game. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank I you hope it was fun for everyone. Mm-hmm. Uh, like I said, uh, I, I really, like, this is going to be much less linear. Like, this next part is much less linear than the, the first part. First first book, most APs agree with me that it's nice to have, like, a nice defined goal like the, the the PCs go to the place and they do the thing and then they come back they come back out and they've done the thing, which is basically right. what the, what it was. Second part is this is very very sandbox. Mm. You guys will have the opportunity to approach this however you want. Mm-hmm. If you want to, you know, pretend go in and pretend you were the people that you just killed, you can. If you want to try to romance one of the gang lords, you can. Just just like imagine let your imaginations run free. And we'll we'll have some fun with it. We want to uh, bring back the character of Zora, the uh, 
<laughs> love, love, <laughs> love sick, uh, lover. <laughs> We're gonna With be your horse mane. <laughs> We're gonna be Zora's gang. We're the newest gang in town. <laughs> oh no. We need to keep that wig. Yeah, it's a good wig. Oh, yeah. it's, a it's a good, good wig. wig. It's a good wig. It's a lucky it's a great wig. Great wig. <laughs> if you want to put that in your inventory, Zora's wig. It's not uh, Zora's wig, it's my wig. Sorry. Barbara's <laughs> Zora wig. Yeah. Uh, totally. So, yeah. Covers sorry. my head scars nicely. It's mm. warm. N nothing <laughs> to not like about this. Exactly. <laughs> It only kind of smells like horse. Yes. Kind of it <laughs> mostly smells like pork barbecue. Yeah. <laughs> yeah at All least right, it's well. 100% natural. <laughs> Made from real horse's hair. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and real horse's ashes. <laughs> <laughs> Initially, it was gone. <laughs> uh. In the probes. <laughs> Look, right. I'm not the one who set the horse on fire. Nope. <laughs> that is true. We didn't start the fire. But we, it was always burning when the world was turning. Not exactly. You know what? We're going to leave it there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, everyone, for listening. I'll let Merrick do the closing statements and bitch at OBS. Uh, no, I think I did enough of that. Um, what I'll say is we are slowly releasing the past videos of our games on YouTube, which you can check out at any time. And um, uh, we're up to... I uploaded parts 1 and 1.5 or whatever of the game 3. Uh, game 4 is incoming soon. And... Uh, I guess this one will also come soon, but uh, we have to do game four first. So, but look forward to the completion of game three. I just needed to complete the thumbnail and then I can upload it. I'll try and do that tonight. And uh, yeah, yeah, we'll keep working on it. And I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Thanks for lurking, watching, chatting, anything really. Um, if you want to click the follow button, you can be notified when I'll do it next. It'll probably be in a weekend or two. We tend to do it every two weekends or so, so look forward to that for the Pathfinder game specifically. And if you want to subscribe to support the channel, you can do that as well. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Um, and I think that about covers it, so thanks everyone, and uh, have a great evening. Thank you. Bye! Bye. Bye.